Good morning. We're glad you're here today. If you were here last Sunday, you might remember that our worship team used a clip from a Charlie Brown Christmas as a lead-in to one of the songs that we sang. And the walls are still standing, so uh, no harm done. In fact, several of you commented on how much you enjoyed that. Well, that wasn't necessarily the case back in 1965 when the special first aired on TV. In fact, its producers were convinced it would flop. Network executives were horrified at the idea of an animated special with such a blatant Christian message. A comedy that had no laugh track. A children's show with a jazz soundtrack. It just didn't make sense. But America loved it and it's been a critical and ratings hit every year since. Here at Rock Harbor, we have our own popular tradition, our Christmas Eve service coming up next Sunday. Now join us in the morning for one of our three worship services at the usual times, 8 o'clock, 9.30, and 11 o'clock. Then plan to come back at 6 o'clock p.m. for your favorite Christmas songs, a message from Pastor Randy, and a time of communion. Now here's a little known fact about another one of our favorite Christmas specials, How the Grinch Stole Christmas. Now, everybody knows the Grinch is green. Well, not so fast. Which Grinch? In the original book by Dr. Seuss, the Grinch is actually just black and white. It was animator Chuck Jones who decided to make him green for the TV special in 1966, a shade he chose because he happened to be driving a rental car of that color. You can color us excited here at Rock Harbor because it's our turn to host the multi-church prayer service in just two weeks. Don't miss this opportunity to join with believers from other local churches and pray in the new year. Okay, last one. Remember when Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer and Hermie the Elf and Yukon Cornelius discovered the island of misfit toys and they listened to their little song and then they promised to return and help them, right? Well... When that special first aired back in 1964, they actually didn't return to help them. In fact, the Misfit Toys were never seen or even mentioned again. As you might imagine, the producers were inundated with letters and phone calls from outraged children and parents. So the studio quickly produced a short news scene for the end of the show in which Rudolph leads Santa to the island to pick up all the toys and find homes for them. And that's been the ending we've seen ever since. Whew. Well, no one's a misfit here at Rock Harbor. To find where you fit in, take our Partner in Ministry class with Pastor Randy coming up on January 7th after third service. You'll learn all about our vision, our values, and the ministry opportunities available here. To RSVP, just check the box on your yellow card. And if you're a middle schooler or high schooler or the parent of one, remember there's no youth group tonight or next Sunday night, so please be aware of that. And with that, you are up to date on everything from Christmas cartoons to all that's going on here at Rock Harbor. Thanks for watching and enjoy the rest of the service.